in the midst of vibrant floral arrangements and the joyous laughter of family, the Islamic wedding ceremony, known as Nikah, stands out as a solemn, spiritually uplifting covenant between two souls. At its core, the Nikah is not just an exchange of vows, but a sacred agreement steeped in Quranic principles and Sunnah practices. Understanding these foundational elements provides not only clarity, but also a profound appreciation of this momentous occasion. Nika, an Arabic term literally meaning contract or to engage together, is a divine institution sanctioned by Allah and beautifully described in the Quran and Hadiths. It is the moral commitment and legal contract between a man and a woman intending to cherish and support each other in the journey of life. In the Quran, marriage is revered as a means of tranquility, love and compassion between the partners. As stated in Surah Ar-Rum, chapter 30, verse 21, وَمِنْ آيَتِهِ أَنْ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَجَ لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمَةً إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَةٍ لِقَوْمٍ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ As translated as, And one of his signs is that he created for you spouses from among yourselves so that you may find comfort in them. And he has placed between you compassion and mercy. Surely in this are signs for people who reflect, which highlights the miraculous signs of Allah in creating spouses for humans from themselves. The ceremony does not only foster a lifelong partnership, but also acts as a union of families and, by extension, communities, emphasizing the societal aspect of marriage. Furthermore, the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, regarded marriage as half of a Muslim's religion, suggesting its importance in fulfilling one's faith. The Hadith in Sahih Bukhari 563 narrates the Prophet's peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, advice to marry, highlighting marriage as a devout fulfillment of half of one's religion, thereby encouraging the young to embrace this sunnah eagerly. Marriage in Islam also sets a strong foundation for moral restraint and family life, acting as a shield against sins. By formalizing the relationship through nikah, couples are spiritually bound, promoting a healthy family structure essential for a well-functioning society. An Islamic wedding, while rich in spiritual significance, involves specific rites and rituals that ensure the marriage aligns with Islamic principles. The key components of a nikah ceremony include the kutbah, wedding sermon, the mutual agreement, ijab kubul, mahar, dawer, and witnessing. The ceremony typically commences with a kutbah, a spiritual sermon that seeks to guide the couple in their new journey. Delivered by the imam or a learned elder, the kutbah underscores the Islamic perspective on marriage, reflecting teachings from the Quran and the Sunnah. Following the khutbah, the element of mutual agreement, known as ijab o kubul, is crucial. This involves the explicit acceptance of the marriage proposal by both the bride and the groom in the presence of at least two witnesses. According to a hadith reported in Sahih Muslim M. 18a, it's important to declare marriages publicly. This public acknowledgement not only offers societal recognition, but also fortifies the legality of the union under Islamic law. It's about more than just saying yes. It's a declaration in front of witnesses that solidifies our commitment. Absolutely. And it's about making our union recognized legally and socially. Another cornerstone of the Nika is the Maha, a compulsory gift from the groom to the bride, symbolizing respect, honor, and the groom's willingness to accept responsibility. The mahar, which can be in the form of cash, possessions, or even an educational promise, is stipulated based on mutual agreement and is mandated as the bride's right. In Surah An-Nisa, chapter 4, verse 24, Allah says, 
wal muhsanatu min al nisa'i illa ma malakat aymanukum kitaba lillahi alaykum wa uhilla lakum ma wara'a dhalikum an tabtagu bi amwalikum muhsinina ghayra musafihin fama stamta'tum bihi minhunna fa'atuhunna ujurahunna farida wala junaha alaykum fi ma taradaytum bihi min ba'di al farida inna lillah kana aliman hakima 24 translated as also forbidden are married women except female captives in your possession this is allah's commandment to you lawful to you are all beyond these as long as you seek them with your wealth in a legal marriage not in fornication give those you have consummated marriage with their due dowries it is permissible to be mutually gracious regarding the set dowry surely allah is all knowing all wise cultural variations do manifest in islamic weddings reflecting the diverse practices of muslims worldwide however these variations never override the core islamic principles cultural variations do indeed manifest in the islamic weddings reflecting the diverse practices of muslims worldwide however these variations never override the core islamic principles whether it is the elaborate celebrations seen in south asian muslim weddings or the more subdued ceremonies in other parts of the islamic world the integral components of nikah remain common and sacred across all cultures by understanding these religious components and practices muslims around the globe can celebrate their unions not just as festive social gatherings but as profound spiritual commitments made under the guiding principles of their faith islamic weddings a combination of divine ordinance and cultural tradition draw their essence from deeply rooted islamic teachings do not forget if you like this video click on like subscribe and share